If you're struggling with consent, just imagine that instead of initiating sex, you're ordering them curly fries. You say, hey, would you like some curly fries? And they reply, OMG, yes, I would love some curly fries. Thank you. Then you know they want some curly fries. If you say, hey, would you like some curly fries? And they um and ah uh, and say, I'm not really sure. Then you can order them some curly fries or not. But be aware that they might not eat them. And if they don't eat them, then, and this is the important bit, don't make them eat them. They might say, yes, please, that's kind of you. And when the curly fries arrive, they don't want them after all. Sometimes people change their mind, and that's okay. And if someone does change their mind, even though you went through the trouble of getting them, you are still not entitled to force them to eat the curly fries. If they are unconscious, don't order them curly fries. Unconscious people don't want curly fries and can't answer the question, would you like some curly fries? Because they are unconscious. If someone said yes to curly fries and started eating them but passed out before they'd finished, don't carry on feeding them. Unconscious people don't want curly fries. Put down the curly fries and make sure they're safe. If someone said yes to curly fries last Saturday, it doesn't mean they want curly fries all the time. They don't want you to show up at their house with some curly fries and force them to eat them saying, but you wanted curly fries last week. Sometimes people change their mind and that's okay. If you can understand how completely ludicrous it is to force people to eat curly fries when they don't want them, and you are able to understand when people don't want curly fries, then how hard is it to understand when it comes to sex? Whether it's curly fries or sex, consent is everything. Hashtag never okay.